In the arid landscapes of Ethiopia, nestled within the cradle of humanity, emerged a discovery that shook the foundations of our understanding of human evolution, the hominin known as Lucy. Lucy was unearthed in 1974 by Donald Johansson and his team, unfolding a new chapter in the ancient book of human ancestry. At 3.2 million years old, she belonged to the species Australopithecus afarensis, becoming a beacon of light into our shadowy past. This mysterious ancient relative was nicknamed Lucy, inspired by the song Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds by the Beatles. Her discovery in the Afar Triangle gave rise to an era of renewed exploration and curiosity, sparking questions about our origin and evolution. Lucy's skeletal remains, although fragmented, are astonishingly well preserved, providing a rare glimpse into the life of early hominins. Her small stature and partial skeleton became iconic, symbolizing the enduring quest to understand where we come from. Walking on two legs, Lucy showed signs of bipedalism, a critical step in human evolution. This bipedal locomotion marked a significant divergence from our primate relatives, highlighting an evolutionary leap. Yet, Lucy's anatomy also exhibited numerous ape-like features, creating a compelling blend of characteristics from both worlds. The mysteries surrounding Lucy's life and her species are imbued with the allure of the unknown, each bone a cryptic message from the past. How did she live, how did she interact with her environment, and, intriguingly, how did she meet her end? The examination of her remains provided a foundation for numerous theories and debates about early hominin lifestyles. Researchers hypothesize that Lucy spent a considerable amount of time in the trees, a behavior characteristic of her primate lineage. Her habitat was likely a mosaic of woodland and grassland, a diverse landscape teeming with life and challenges. The intrigue deepens as scientists speculate about her diet, possibly consisting of fruits, leaves, and small creatures. Lucy's teeth offer cryptic clues, hinting at the food she might have consumed in her lifetime. The robustness of her jaw and the wear patterns on her teeth suggest a diet that was varied and adaptive. These dietary adaptations illustrate the evolutionary pressures and survival strategies that shaped her species. The most captivating and elusive mystery, however, remains, how did Lucy die? Scientists painstakingly analyze her bones, seeking answers to the circumstances of her demise. The clues are subtle, the bone fractures and stress marks whispering tales of ancient traumas. A prevailing theory suggests that Lucy met her end by falling from a significant height, possibly from a tree. The patterns of fractures in her bones align with injuries typically sustained in falls, painting a picture of her final moments. This hypothesis, while compelling, is still the subject of debates and discussions within the scientific community. The ambiguity surrounding her death adds an enigmatic layer to her story, fueling the quest for knowledge. Lucy's story is interwoven with the story of her species, Australopithecus afarensis, providing insights into their evolutionary journey. The species represents a critical stage in human evolution, a transitional form harboring both primate and human characteristics. Lucy and her kind roamed the landscapes of Africa, forging their existence amidst the dynamic ecosystems of the Pliocene epoch. Their evolution was molded by the environment, their bodies adapting to the challenges and opportunities presented by their habitats. They navigated a world inhabited by myriad other species, each playing a role in the ecological tapestry of the time. Lucy's species was likely sociable, interacting with each other in ways that echo through time in our own behaviors. The fragments of their existence, scattered across the sands of time, slowly piece together the mosaic of their lives. Every discovery related to Lucy and her species unravels more threads in the intricate web of human evolution. The significance of Lucy's discovery lies not just in her individual story but in the broader narrative of our ancestral journey. She stands as a testament to the resilience and adaptability of our early relatives, their lives etched in the remnants of their bones. The insights gleaned from studying Lucy extend beyond the confines of her species, reflecting the evolutionary trajectory of all hominins. As we delve deeper into the mysteries of Lucy, we uncover more about ourselves, our lineage, 
and our connection to the natural world. The journey to understand Lucy is a journey into our collective past, a voyage through the corridors of time. It's a pursuit punctuated by questions, revelations, and reflections, a continuous dialogue between the present and the ancient past. Lucy's legacy is enduring, her existence a pivotal point in the unfolding saga of human evolution. The fragments of her life speak of a time when the foundations of humanity were being laid, each bone a relic of our shared heritage. The intrigue surrounding Lucy will continue to inspire generations of scientists, enthusiasts, and seekers of knowledge. Her story intertwines science, history, and exploration, blending them into a tapestry of learning and discovery. As the sands of time continue to shift, Lucy remains a symbol of our evolutionary journey, a guide into our ancestral roots. The study of Lucy serves as a mirror, reflecting our aspirations, our curiosity, and our quest for understanding. The ongoing exploration of her life and her world is a testament to the enduring human spirit to seek, to learn, and to know. Lucy, the ancient beacon, continues to illuminate the path to understanding our origins, beckoning us to explore the mysteries of our past. Her story, shrouded in time, whispers to us the secrets of our ancestry, inviting us to listen, to ponder, and to continue the journey of discovery. In the echoes of Lucy's existence, we find the essence of our shared story, a narrative that transcends time, igniting the flame of knowledge and wonder.